All right, me and Tyler tonight are going to go see Star Wars Rogue One. Woohoo! Yeah, celebration, celebration. <laughs> We're also going to go see it in the new Dolby Cinema Theater at AMC Elmwood here in the New Orleans area. It's about a month old theater. I went to see a movie already in it, but this guy, he's a virgin to the theater. He has not experienced the magic of Dolby Cinema. Nope. Sound, all that stuff. So that's where we're off to tonight. See you in a few. <laughs> we're getting closer to the end. The end has stopped. <laughs> Damn, they found so, when we got to the theater, you have to pick your seats for Dolby, and on screen it was like, this many. And then when we got to the theater, oh well, my phone screen was this many. When we got to the theater, it was like, so I convinced Tyler to sit here at Kane's with me for three hours to wait for the 1140 show. Isn't Tyler a great guy? Star Wars better be good. Yeah, it better be good. There you go, sir. Wasn't me. Three hours later. Look at this, but I know, right? It's so cool. I know, and that huge curve, that huge curved screen. Oh, you actually have to hold it down. Yeah, you gotta hold it down. Oh yeah. Luxury, huh? So there's there's one there's one downside is the cup holders don't have a bottom to them, so it retains the sweat. So you better watch if you put your cell phones in there. It's not really such a company, so that's I don't believe it's too American long. Express. You get cash back on purchases with no annual fee. You just oh. Are you with me? All the way. So what'd you think, Tyler? I thought it was phenomenal. I honestly thought it was really good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I will say that. Uh, like all Star Wars films, very, very funny in parts. Yes. Uh, the droid, K, was just phenomenal. He's what we wished R2-D2 could do and talk. Like, like, you got that feeling, like, if R2-D2 could talk, he'd be like, K. Hey, yeah. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, like yeah. very sarcastic. Yeah. Like, very, I don't want your bullshit. Right. Yeah. Which was just so great. And uh, the little jokes in the film, it just it helps tie it together. The action was really good. Interesting, in the movie, there's a beach scene where the uh, fighters uh, are fi fighting the stormtroopers. And the way the fighters are dressed is like Vietnam, uh, better yeah. Vietnam era soldiers, and they're on beaches in the jungle. So I don't know if they were trying to do that on purpose necessarily but that was an interesting touch I will say that like their helmets their vests look very Vietnam era yeah uh, but yeah very very good film very very different like it's very much not a true Star Wars <laughs> that's what we were trying to say the film is very much a, a film that exists in the Star Wars universe but in so many ways it's not a Star Wars film it doesn't feel at times like a Star Wars film, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. It's very much a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it definitely gets away from the recycle... F I can't even say recycle field, but a lot of people feel like Episode 7 was recycled of 4, which 
which I would concur on. I that. would, yeah. I would, but this, this, I would half ask yeah. her, yeah. Yeah, this, but this doesn't feel like any film. And I mean, and, and it, it establishes that from the very beginning when it doesn't start off with the normal opening. Yeah, it doesn't have the normal opening title sequence. Yeah. Uh, something I know a lot of people were griping about a certain person from the past, you know, uh, being used uh, on um, in the film that has long passed away many years. Uh, but it wasn't perfect. That character wasn't perfectly well rendered, and I will say it did stand out. Um, yeah, great acting though by I can't remember the guy's name, but he plays. He's the one. In, he's the emperor. Emperor guy in the white thing in the. In the uh, he, he he's actually the main guy in Bloodline. He was in Dark Knight Rises. If anybody doesn't know, recognize him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, lots. But great performances by a lot of people. Uh, just great jokes and things like that. Anyway, I would definitely recommend seeing it. We saw in Dolby Digital. I don't know how it would be in IMAX. I don't like 3D, so that's another reason for Dolby. Because I don't have to, have to worry about having 3D glasses or anything like that. So, so good. Yeah. So, so good. Vibrations through your loins. Reclining seats. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was quite it, the experience. It was a cinematic experience. But anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh... Go see Rogue One. Enjoy it in theaters. Definitely, if you're going to watch something like Rogue One, see it in IMAX, see it in Dolby, see it in a really large format. Don't just watch it on your phone from a bootleg. Don't watch it in regular theaters. Watch it in the big version. If you're going to do it, do it right. If it's available to you. If it's not, you go to a town that does have it. Dedication. Dedication. Just. And if you're a real Star Wars nerd, you would do it anyway. Anyway, bye-bye. God damn it, why are we being weird? <laughs>